Kalaha la yum, la yahawo, bahasham shall yahawo shai, bahar wakar dash, which is ancient period of Hebrew for all praises to yahawo, the Heavenly Father's only name, which can be only uttered in Hebrew, who the word ignorantly calls Jah, Jehovah, etc., in the name of yahawo shai, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Yeshua, in which whose name also can only be uttered in ancient period of Hebrew, as I just said. In the Holy Spirit, the Wakar Kodash, the wisdom and understanding of these holy scriptures, the Holy Bible. I want to say double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, that teach us this, this word diligently. All right, and salutations to the sincere Akiyam and 144,000 men, one third men, women, and children, ready to be saved of the blood line, the blood descendants of the so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Amerindians. Native Americans, also the confusion of faces that look like the other nations, so called Caucasians, Chinese, Arabs, etc. But you know, their their father's lineage goes back to an Israelite man. Alright, so the spirit just got on me again and um I'm gonna do a quick lesson on on the righteous perishing or the righteous dying, you know, because um a lot of brothers are fall know the truth because of you know some of the friction that may be occurring among Israel. Right? And when I say friction I mean as in you know there's that case in London where that young girl died, I can't remember her name, in my UIC. I don't look too much into that. I focus on the apostles' teachings and so forth and um, and the word and whatnot, you know. But then certain things I I try to, you know, implement, let them know let you know that I'm not. Be watchful. Yeah. That being said, all right, um, there's nothing to be afraid of, all right. You know, um, El Lakazak, that's in um, GMS Mississippi camp, did a wonderful lesson, um, namely, we know, we know where do you go when you die, all right. And through that lesson, and among you know other brothers' teachings and so forth, not just his lesson, but you know, that's where I learned from. We understand where we go when we die, all right. And there's nothing to be afraid of once you're righteous, right? And you, sh and you shouldn't, you know, get caught up, slack it, caught up in, in, you know, brother pass and so forth. He's in a better place, all right? This is First Thessalonians chapter four verse thirteen. I would not have you, I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. Yes, yeah, because. We don't really die. You can't destroy energy. That's what our life force is made of, so to speak. Right? We just go to sleep. We're just transferred to another another area, so to speak. Right? Another dimension. Yeah, it says, Concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others have, have no hope. Right? Others have no hope, but we have hope. We have we have hope. We need hope for we the hopeful elect, we the men that are pushing this word to the best of our ability and so forth. We hope that when we die, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai would say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Alright? So don't sorrow for those that may die. Shit, I don't even sorrow for people that follow the truth and people that get killed or whatever. Whether wicked or good. Because I know it's all part of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will. And he's the one who, who finalizes. Who's righteous or not? He says, you know, he has made, he has, he has chosen his elect before the foundations of the earth. Who are with, who are with you? I was in the beginning, All right? This is um Isaiah chapter fifty-seven, verse one and two. The righteous perisheth, and no man layeth the heart, and merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. So they they've been taken away from the evil to come, if the righteous perish. Right, that there was this elder in um in uh GMS Trinidad named Elder Ra'ai and Ra Ra Ra'ai uh yeah Ra'ai which yeah, if I'm a, if I'm a, if I'm a, if I'm saying it right I did a listen I, I posted a video on you know some of the words he he posted on a on a WhatsApp voice note and put the caption and photo up you know and it says. He shall enter into peace, and they shall rest in their in their beds. Each one walking in his uprightness. Okay, you see, he says he shall enter into peace, and they shall rest, and they shall rest in their beds. 
each one walking in his uprightness. Because, you know, he, he fulfilled the law of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Now, the Spirit has got on me. Let me just get his precept real quick. Ecclesiastes 12. I can't remember which verse, but the Spirit should guide me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there it is. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit shall return unto the Mosai who gave it. So that's where we go when we die, to receive our judgment and send back to the earth to live out our judgment. There's no place as, as hell burn up forever and ever. Why would the Mosai destroy his creation? All right? Why would the Mosai do that? The hell is talking, the hell that is put upon the oppression, a low estate, a low state of being in poverty, a low state of being sick, a low state of being bogged out of your mind. All right? That's hell. Um, so let's get to this other precept here. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter chapter 4 and verse 7 he says but 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 though the righteous be prevented with death yet shall he be in rest all right Pre slack yet presented and yeah, this is the old english i had a little trouble getting the uh the, the king james you know regular right but though the righteous be presented with death yet shall he be in rest for honorable for honorable age is not that which standeth for a length of time, but that is measured by the number of years. But wisdom is the gray hair of unto men and unspotted life of old age. All right, so the righteous, the hundred five thousand men, the one third men and children, which we're hoping to be. You know, well, well, in this case, men would have wisdom, right? Our unspotted life is is old age. You know, trying our best to keep the laws and commandments, trying our best to push out this word, trying our best to apply these scriptures, all right? It says, He pleased at the most high and was beloved of him, so that living among sinners, he was translated. So the men of the Lord are going to please the most high. And they ain't, they ain't going to they no fear no death because they know where they are. If you're reading in the Maccabees, I believe it's Second Maccabees, there's seven brothers in the Maccabees, Second Maccabees 7. It's, it speaks about how and all these bold righteous men who refused to eat swine's flesh stood firm and, and told told or told his oppressor, as for you, you have no resurrection of life. But Yahweh Bashem Yoshev will give back give us back the hands, the legs, the 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 um the, our private parts that they made dismembered and so forth during torture or whatever. Most will give us back that a hundredfold, all right? It says, Yes, yeah, speedily. He was taken away, lest that wickedness should halt his understanding or deceit beguile his soul. So any brother that may, may have passed away in, in this truth, in the truth of, of knowing his Israelite, knowing that Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai are the names and praying to these names, knowing that, knowing that it, um, he, uh, America is going to be destroyed with thermonuclear missile, teaching this stuff in the highways and byways, doing videos, you know, and the list goes on, all right? And, you know, he doesn't complain about doing the works, but he's sincere and he loves loves the Akim and so forth. You know, he will, the Mosai might speedily take him away, lest that the wickedness should alter his understanding and deceit beguile his soul, all right? It says, for the bewitching of naughtiness doth obscure things that are honest, all right? And we, and we can testify with I say, like, we got an old friend. So I, can, I should say, I can testify with it. You know, you're dealing with an old friend and you know, you're trying to get him to come into the truth and you realize that you know, you know, I probably don't want him in the truth right now. And then, you know, he noticed that you started talking with them, talking like them and, and started, you know, you know, like drifting from, from the truth. But then, then when the spirit corrects you, he's like, yo, I can't, I can't go back to this life, right? Because I'm going to be worse than right now, you know? And, you know that's how the spirit. That's how the spirit talks to me. You know, it's like you're gonna be worse than you were. And it says, and the wandering of concupiscence. Concupiscence is like thoughts and so forth. Doth undermine the simple mind. All right. So you can't be wandering about this place. All right. You want to die in righteousness, not in wickedness. It says he being made perfect in a short time fulfilled a long time. So this is a short time that we we're being made perfect. All right. So it says, true child return to those that practice sin. So these men that were chosen from the foundation of earth will always 
before the foundation of Red Slacking will always um, come back in their lot, will always come back as a righteous man, right? And being made perfect in a short time. So this this is this is this is a short time. The scripture says, um, "Let those days be shortened." All right. So we're gonna and Yahweh Yahweh Shai is gonna is the author and finisher of our faith, the author and finisher of our perfection. All right. For his soul pleased Yahweh. Therefore, hasted he to take him away from among the wicked. All right. That's what the Mosai does. All right. And in the right time, we're gonna be taken away from among the wicked. Some of us are going to get a head chopped off. Some of us are going to be tortured. Some of us might starve to death. Some of us might get killed in, in martial law. So on and so forth. Some of us might live throughout the entire endeavor, which I'm hoping <laughs> to do. So I can see, see, you know, you know, the other scripture says, we're not curious how the wicked shall be punished, right? But I'm praying that, you know, you have know, you know, I want to see, I just, for some reason, I just want to see everything, all right? See how things work out and then be caught up in the chariots Lord willing, right? It says this the people saw and understood not. They don't understand why why we would boldly go out there like the bugs in the tree that after their after one of their elders passed, you know, through a scoff of you know stabbing him up and whatnot. They went out this next week and you know a woman was like, Yeah still out there after what happened. It's like she don't understand. Especially a woman, she's faithless. Like, she don't understand that you know where he's where he gone is like it's like yo let me see if I get a picture of him real quick slack yeah yeah uh, oh. mm. yeah let me see if I get a picture again with him real quick slack yeah I think it should be in pictures no better yet let me pull up that video. The video got it. And plus, you know, you you see the name of the video and whatnot, All right? Um, let's see the library. It's the library. No uploads yet. There it is. History. Watch later. Players like videos. Here's my upload. Slakia. Slakia. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, now we just upload videos and watch videos, so <laughs> my that will feel a little rusty. Yeah, it should be out a little down here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, it's on a camp. It's on a camp channel. My bad. Slack, you bear with me. Yaki, I'm young. That was a while back. That was a while back I put up that video. Oh, I don't know how to find it. Yeah. Where is it? Ah. Yeah. Late Elder I. Admonishment of Times. Yeah, this is the guy. All right. Uh, let me get back to the precept. It says, "Does the righteous?" Yeah, this is a brother. It says, "Does the righteous?" Slap him read it again. This is the people saw and on verse fifteen. Does this is the people saw and understood it not? Neither laid up this in their minds that his grace and his mercy is with his saints, and that he hath respect unto his chosen. All right, most had respect unto his chosen. This. 
You know, this brother was diligent. You know, from you know from the uh, from the discernment to the other brothers that, that that were under him. You know, it says, "Thus the righteous that is dead shall shall condemn the ungodly, which are living, and youth that is soon perfected." The many years and old age of the unrighteous. All right. For they shall see the end of the wise and shall not understand what the Most High in his counsel hath decreed of him and to what end Yahweh hath set, set him in safety. We see the brothers in safety, man. All right? And we're looking for that safety. If you got it, if we, we accept that if Yahweh Barashim and Shireen should take us. Like sometimes I'd be traveling and I think, yo, suppose this was the accent and everything. It's like, shh. It's not, at least, you know, I'm in the right spirit and, you know, hopefully, you know, Yahweh Barashim and Shireen chose me. Right, so he has had respect unto his chosen. It's like um, it says, they shall see him and despise him, but the most I shall laugh them to scorn, and they shall hereafter be a vile, be a vile carcasses, of, and a reproach among the dead forevermore. All right, and he shall rend, and he shall rend them and cast them down headlong, and they shall be speechless, and he shall shake them from the foundation. And they shall be utterly laid waste, and be in sorrow, and their memorial shall perish. It says, When they cast upon the accounts of their sins, they shall come with fear, and, and, and their own iniquity shall convince them into their face. I forgot how beautiful this precept is. Alright? So, you don't, want, you don't want that. You don't want your iniquities to convince, convince you to your face. And, and, and the shame, the scripture says in um, Daniel chapter 12, and verse 2, and they shall be an everlasting shame because they've, they've been stained with their, their iniquity. All right? So keep holding on to this truth, okay? And keep praying the prayer. For example, one of the prayers that I, I learned from uh, one of the brothers, uh, I believe he's a, a, a Shashkar, um, Issachar, right? Um, it was like, uh, no, no, it was another brother. But anyway, prayer goes, Kazaki nawa wa ka wa na tamla na wa tam wa ai wa ama wa la ya ka la ha kwa taza. You know, added that to which is strengthen us, O Yahweh, give to us integrity and more faith to endure to the end. Right, Akia? Shalom, brachatam. My prayer is lesson that he find. I want to say to Wadi Halbashin or Shai, the goodness spirit on me to do this lesson until the fire is church. Shalom, Dr. Dalma Kiyama.